All right, guys. So now I'm going to talk to you about a PNG file since we're talking about file types. So if you haven't seen the video already on the JPG, SVG, PNG file types, watch that first and then take a look at the um, remove background from a JPG and then take a look at this PNG um, tutorial. So this is a PNG that I have on my screen. And I know that it's a PNG because when I look over to the right, it shows up in cut and print. Okay, shows up in cut and print. Now, you would probably get confused sometimes as a new user and thinking that I've done cut and print before and I put it, I put the, um, I put the sticker paper or the printable vinyl, I put it in my printer, it printed out the image in those colors, and then I put it in my cutting machine and it cut it out for me, okay? Now, with this PNG file, you have to be careful because a PNG is also a cut file and you can't get around that in this particular case. So I put this red background behind the image so you can see wherever you see this red, that's where it is going to cut when you put it in your cutting machine. So all of these letters are going to cut out by themselves. It is not going to cut out this group of ladies as just one image, okay? Wherever you see the red, look at her eyes. I'm going to increase this so you can see her eyes. Okay. If you look closely, her eye is red. Her eye is red and her eye is red. Let me put it on 25 here, see if I can make it even bigger for you. Okay, so you see that wherever you see that red, and that's because I have a red square in the background. If I change my square color to yellow, watch their eyes. Their eyes change to yellow, and that's because after you print this out on your printing, uh, on your printer, and you put it into your cutting machine, it's going to cut out the insides of their eyes, guys. So you have to be careful with your PNG file type to know where it's going to cut. You can see all this yellow down here. It's going to, again, cut out all of these letters individually. So this image would not work if you were trying to do a t-shirt transfer because it's going to just be cut up in all types of pieces. So again, if I change my square, this time I'm going to go a light green or lime color. And now look at their eyes. Okay, it's picking up that color. You can't tell it as good as you could with the red. So let's put it on the red again, but it is going to cut out their eyes. Just so you can see that it's going to cut out that side of her eye both sides of her eye, all of your letters are going to be cut out. You have a little bit of it in here in her fingers, so her fingers may cut out as well. And this is a PNG file. Okay, this is a PNG. And even though it says print and cut, if I were to go on here and click on make it, let me make it smaller so that we can get it all in one walk. So if I were to go in and make this image smaller, and then I click on make it, everything looks great. It looked like it's gonna be perfect for print and cut. And possibly I could put this on a t-shirt transfer paper, but when you put it into your cutting machine and get ready to cut it out, that's where it's gonna chop your image up into all these different pieces. Again, all of this is going to print out individually or cut out individually. It's going to cut out those insides of the eyes where I showed you inside these fingers are going to be chopped up. So you always want to watch. It's very important to know what type of file you're working with and what um, can and can't you do with that file type. Not all print and cut is going to work the same way. It's based on whoever created that SVG file and what cu cut functionality they have in there. So the same thing 
if I were to go and take this image, and I'm gonna put my red background on here again so you can see it better. But if I were to take this image and say, oh, I'm gonna do a t-shirt transfer with this image. This is a PNG, guys. It's not an SVG. It's a PNG. Look at her eyes. It's going to cut out her eyes. It's going to cut out inside this glass right here. And the way I know is because it took on the color of my background, which means that that's cut functionality. So you can always put a background on it just to see what's gonna happen. So when I put it on yellow, look at her eyes. Eyes change to yellow. Inside of the glass change to yellow. So she's not gonna be holding up this glass by the time you put it in your cutting machine. It's going to actually cut this to where it's not going to be usable, okay? So this particular PNG you would not be able to use on T-shirt transfer because it has cut functionality in here, um, which is going to chop up your image, okay? Now, you could always go in and say, okay, I can fix that. I'm just going to go in. I'm going to add a shape. I'm going to put it on this little lady right here. Just like that. And I'm going to move my background out of the way. And I'm going to slice. So I have it all grouped together. I'm going to slice it. And when I slice it, then it's just these ladies by themselves. She's no longer in the picture. Then you would be able to take this and do um, t-shirt transfer paper. But again, everybody's going to print out. Now these would print as a whole. You're gonna have these two, it's gonna be space, and then these two would print as a whole. But if you wanted to just use two of the ladies, then you could do that. Just take another shape, place that shape on there. You only want these two little ladies over here in the middle and you could totally cover them up. Like that. And then highlight them and slice. So even though you see a group of people and you say, well, I don't want that many, you know, you can totally get around it. By deleting them and, and that's by slicing. So now I would be able to do a t-shirt transfer with this one. But again, I do want to show you one other thing. You see her earrings? It is going to put a little hole to cut out the inside of her earrings. But everything else would be fine. It would still work as a t-shirt transfer if you wanted to use it as a t-shirt transfer now. But that is your PNG file type, guys. So I wanted to just help you to understand if you're not sure if your photo or your image is going to be chopped up after you print it out, you can always put just a square behind it, put some color on that square, and see wherever that color is. Wherever that color is, once you put it into your cutting machine, it's gonna cut out that. So now you can see that it's just going to cut around this image and it's gonna cut out the insides of her earrings. But other than that, it's a great photo that you would still be able to use if you wanted to do a t-shirt transfer. All right. All right, guys, as always, each one reach one so that each one can teach one. This is the difference in your PNG and how you can utilize it or not utilize it for a t-shirt transfer. All right, have a great day.